So welcome to episode two of the five custom race colonists versus the void storyteller. The void storyteller evidently throws tons of negative events at you and can send up to 10 in one day. And we just got over getting raided twice. It wasn't by that many enemies because it was our first couple raids and our wealth is actually pretty low right now. At the end of the last episode, we built up a research table and we now have Cinder, our researcher fox, doing research of I'm not sure what tech. As in this run, what we research is completely random. To offset the fact that we're doing completely random research, we're researching techs three times quicker and yeah we're getting raided yet again by just one person bertha this is happening at 3 a.m and while everyone's sleeping we're gonna have slate go out and try to take her on i was also thinking that since we're constantly getting raided slate's mood needs to be pretty much always good if he has a mental breakdown that's really bad for us i mean lily can help but her main goal right now is to chop trees and plants so i changed around the mascus trait for bloodlust and i don't like this one because it makes it so he's four times as likely to start a social fight as others and like right now his mood's actually pretty bad because he's in serious pain so we went from a positive moodlet being that masochists actually like pain to now he's in serious pain because he doesn't like the pain but now he doesn't care if he walks over corpses and more importantly when he does start killing people which right now we're just gonna charge at bertha this isn't like the most smart play but he's losing mood and he just blocked one of her attacks actually and she is pretty bad in melee i'm guessing yeah she only has two melee and she's using a revolver to melee so i think slate should have this and there we go he killed someone for a 12 bonus mood and witness death with bloodlust for eight bonus mood so he just got a positive 20 moodlet and these do stack as far as i know both of them stack so when we start getting raided by more and more people slate's mood should always be good which is going to be really important i think for the success of this playthrough and also we can strip bertha and have slate use her gear now usually you can't do this because the gear becomes tainted and no one likes to wear tainted gear except for i think there's a couple more traits aside from bloodlust i'm not sure if psychopath and cannibal mind wearing dead person's gear but with bloodless we definitely can wear dead people's gear and this stuff's actually all in pretty good quality none's below 50 percent so it's not tattered and he's now not going to mind wearing any of these tainted things even though one of them is a tainted blouse not very manly if you ask me but at least he's not naked anymore so he loses the naked moodlet debuff another easy way we can help people's moods is by building them a table and some stools unfortunately we can't build chairs yet we're also going to build a dresser in this room and we can link it to all these five beds and that's going to improve the comfort people get from all these beds we'll also just plop some wood floors in here they're much quicker to build than smoothing the floors and it's actually giving glitch a good amount of construction skill building the floors i think more than smoothing let's actually test it out we're going at one time speed right now smoothing the floor i'll try constructing yeah he gets way more xp from constructing floors he's now at three construction we'll also build a chess table in here as people are getting kind of bored of throwing horseshoes and chess is a different type of recreation and it actually apparently trains intellectual skills so it'd be good to have cinder do that who by the way is now in a pretty good mood he's got a burning passion for research he is sweaty though it's apparently 80 degrees in here let's fix that by plopping down a passive cooler oh and by the way something i just found out we can link one end table to three beds potentially and actually now i think about it maybe we can do it with four if we arrange the beds like this the end table will hit all of these beds and that's gonna give these beds a slight boost to comfort a 0.5 boost which actually is quite a bit considering that our poor beds are only at 0.75 comfort now we got glitch Oh, we actually made a normal bed. Okay, well, let's deconstruct this bed, move this normal bed over here, which does have a comfort rating of 0.8, and that's without the end table, actually. With the end table, it gives 0.85 comfort. But yeah, with the quality builder mod, we're gonna have him keep building beds until he makes them all normal, because A, that's gonna make it nicer for people to sleep in those beds, but B, we can also grind up his construction skill this way, and like he'll automatically deconstruct the bed if it's not normal. We should also move the wood inside here so he can access it easier. Although I think putting wood on the ground would lower the beauty of the room, so we're gonna build these wooden tall shelves which did cost 120 wood and 45 steel that's most of our steel and a good amount of our wood lily's currently planting a field right now so she's not really chopping down trees but i think if we put the wood in the shelves it's not going to lower the beauty of the room because it's currently 1.05 and he's actually putting it in there very slowly oh and by the way we got our first research finish prisoner of containment so we can make prison doors and by the way we don't have a prison cell yet which we should work on but yeah putting things in the shelves do not lower the beauty in the room and wait this bed actually turned out normal too so we have two normal beds now i think we'll give one to glitch because being that he's our builder it's really important that he's in a good mood and i guess we'll give the other to lotus she's always on the verge of having a mental breakdown but i kind of don't want her to yet just because i'm not really sure how these raids are going to go and we could have her help out if we get into some serious trouble but yeah so glitch made two normal beds this one turned out to be poor i did also find out that he gets construction skill for deconstructing stuff and that's going to bring him up to four construction by the way oh and this is awesome so he can just grab the wood instantly and oh he made a normal bed on the third 
try, I think it was. So now we got three normal beds. We are going to keep repeating that process, I guess, until we make everyone. Okay, we just made another normal bed. Maybe we don't need a normal bed for everyone. I guess there's other stuff we could build. Like we could start building traps just for like an emergency. Maybe that's a better use of our wood for now. And we just need glitch to keep building stuff because yeah, we need to get them to five construction so we can make the nutrient paste dispenser. Speaking of wood, and this is why our wood supply is so low right now. Lily, our thrombonian planter is currently sowing a pretty massive field of rice. And I had her prioritize that over chopping down trees for now because we need a pretty steady food supply. By the way, she's now consuming tall grass. I like how she grabs the grass and then brings it over to the table to eat it, which isn't all that efficient because it doesn't give her that much nutrition. It's now time to name our colony and we're going to name ourselves the Void Hunters. Our settlement name is going to be Hard Rock as we're going to build into the mountain and Slate's really going to like that name. For now, we're kind of lacking in the food department, at least till our veggies grow. And this cougar ended up killing this doe and it's slightly injured. Not terribly, but we're going to have Slate, Lily, and Lotus take this cougar on. And there we go, we finished it. It scratched Lily a little bit, and Slate was injured from taking on a turkey earlier. But yeah, we'll have Slate finish it off, and that should be a good amount of meat for us for quite some time. So yeah, we bushed out those animals, and we got a good amount of meat now. It would be nice to be able to turn this meat into nutrient paste, though. And we're now going to lay down the outline of our nutrient paste dispenser that we're going to build. And yeah, it's going to go directly into our dining room, slash bedroom, slash rec room, slash research room. This room is pretty much everything right now. In order to build it, we just need some components, and we got Slate mining those out. He got two components, actually, from the first compacted machinery mined out. We're gonna need three for the nutrient paste dispenser, two for the wind turbine, and two for the battery. Hopefully we get seven out of this compacted machinery. Research finished terrain rehabilitation. Allows you to layer dirt on rough stone and other terrains to make underground greenhouses. Well, that's actually really cool. That's right up our alley. We can make a greenhouse inside the mountain. One thing I almost forgot about is Glitch is not at five construction yet. He's getting pretty close though. He's at almost 4K out of 5K. And so we're gonna have him start building some more private rooms for people. We eventually are gonna move south into the mountain, but it's gonna take quite a while to mine it out and Slate's currently really busy. He's mining out these compacted machinery and actually he just got two more and by the way we just researched Recur Bow which is not super amazing. And whoa did he get two more components by the way? I think he just got four components out of that two compacted machinery. If so that's really lucky. And yeah that actually was what happened. We now have five leftover components. On top of we already put three into the nutrient paste dispenser. So we're gonna start building the wind turbine and the battery and that should get glitch up to five construction. He's at 4400 and yeah it's going up pretty quickly I want to say. He's at 4650 almost. And he's building the wind turbine. That could get him up to five maybe. Takes quite a while to build. And nice he's at five construction. And now he's gonna work on the nutrient paste dispenser this is actually perfect timing too because this meat is all about to go bad in 20 hours 17 hours on this hair meat and if we actually turn this meat into nutrient paste meals which yeah our nutrient paste dispenser is now powered we do need a couple hoppers and thank you slate for that 98 steel it was very nice of you and lotus by the way is eating a nutrient paste meal i wonder if this is gonna boost her food meter up it is a full meat nutrient paste meal and yeah it actually does and so yeah now there's no chance of our colonists getting food poisoning and we're gonna get a lot more value out of this meat rather than just eating it raw and crap, we got a solar flare, that's annoying. And we're getting raided. By a fairly interesting force, we got a Naga over here riding an Ebex Ram. Oh, and we're getting raided by another force, this time by insects. And it looks like the insects actually might intersect these Naga. The insects are attacking right away. And ah, crap, this is gonna suck actually. We're gonna have Lotus come out here and try to drag these insects towards our door. We don't want them to walk over the traps. No, Kingpin Landmine, you idiot. Mouse Sword has flash grenades, which are gonna do like no damage. And Kingpin Landmine has tomahawks. I'm just like come over here and melee down Kingpin Landmine. And Lotus got not hit by the tomahawk actually. She got stunned by the flash grenade. And there's another flash grenade, which is gonna stun Slate. I don't really care about these though, because they do no damage. And Lotus is gonna be immune in a second here. Pretty sure you can't get perma stun locked by flash grenades. Or can you? Yeah, I think Slate's immune now. We're just gonna have him charge, I guess. We can't be stunned when the other raiders get here. And crap, Slate's taking a little bit of damage. Oh, this is not good. Glitch is getting in there. No, Glitch, you can't take damage, dude. You're our builder and you don't survive that well. Okay, nice, we killed her. Or him, whatever the gender of that thing was. We're gonna Glitch tend up Slate right here. And we're gonna close the door, too. Slate is bleeding a little bit. And he's bleeding rocks. It's actually kind of funny. Rockmen bleed rocks. I like the attention to detail there. But yeah, we got two tens on him and Slate's gonna be fine. And crap, here they come. Stars is going to hit... One of those traps and we killed stars, very nice. Oh, Ferguson. Ferguson's not gonna need traps. And Misaki got right by. We're gonna have Slate and Lily two-man Ferguson, I guess. And maybe Lotus can just kite Misaki. I don't know where Misaki's going. 
Just going for glitch. No, I can't get glitch. Nice tag. Lotus, good job. And we killed the ram, by the way, over here. Slate and Lily did. Meanwhile, glitch is running from Masaki. We're going to glitch to the loop around with Masaki. And I think glitch should be able to outrun Masaki. Or wait, what is glitch doing? Setting our potatoes on fire. How dare she? Oh, and by the way, Slate and Lily were successful. And these guys are now running. We're going to have Lotus chase down Masaki. I don't know if Masaki's any good, but we're going to find out. Hopefully, we can take her out, not kill her, maybe. She's got nowhere to run over here. No. She's hitting the door. Oh, we killed her. But yeah, actually, that raid kind of helped us out in a way because they brought us an Ebex ram for free, and we were completely out of meat at that point. That's 46 more meat only, but hopefully the solar flare will go away soon. And we researched tree sowing, by the way. That's a really useful one, which is actually pretty good for us because this map's kind of small, and eventually we're going to go through all the trees, probably. It's not going to happen anytime soon, but yeah, it always does help to plan for our future. And we're now going to undertake quite a massive build project, and glitch, uh, I don't really like you doing that. We're going to let Lily chop that tree down that's in the way. And Lily, don't consume the nutrient paste can eat brambles and grass i have to manually make her do this which is kind of annoying but i also forbid her from going to our table i set a zone so she can go anywhere on the map except for this table and essentially she'll just eat the grass outside now without having to go all the way to the table each time she consumes grass and now her food meter is up to full while we go chop some trees or something or we could actually start harvesting like this rice a bit of it's actually grown enough to the point where we can harvest it which would be good as we're getting pretty low on food and by the way we got a quest the hunted count this is the first quest it's really easy to do we're gonna accept it with i think slate if i accept it with someone that doesn't do combat i always end up forgetting about them and i never end up using their psychic abilities but yeah this quest is basically a freebie they give us this guy that's been chased by a man hunting duck and then he has his own neural abilities he can actually solo this duck i think not that it really matters that much i think he should be able to solo it though he's stunned yeah he stunned the duck and he killed it. You could have done that, man. You didn't have to come back to our base. But we will take the free royal favor. We'll not have him get in his shuttle or... We're getting raided. We could have him help this raid, actually. This is a pretty fat raid, too, by the way. There's... Uh, wait, what is this buck doing? What is this thing doing? Is he trying to... I think I know what this... Yep, it's trying to mate the doe. That's disgusting. But yeah, they're riding this doe. <laughs> it's actually just too funny. And then this alpaca as well. So it's two animals that we're going to have to take. And by the way, they have a hunting rifle. That's a bit scary. I will say that Kuspakis is about to have a mental breakdown. We're just going to give him the shuttle. Yep, just go away. It was an idea to have that guy help out the raid, but hopefully we'll be fine. And hopefully Slate gets a good ability, by the way. For doing that quest, he gets Pain Block. Pain Block's actually not bad. It just basically ensures that your colonists will not go down in a battle. At least I think, for the most part. And there we go. One trap already. <laughs> the freaking... Okay, the buck is following this doe, like, hardcore. I don't know if this is going to be bad for us. By the way, this guy's shooting at Slate. We're going to have to get out of line of sight. We're shooting at Lily. Ouch. Lily got tagged just now. Loaders, get back. We just need to line of sight these guys. Felony Sickle is coming in. Now we'll mob this guy. Chest Howitzer. This freaking doe or buck or whatever the heck that thing is, is just so troll. Really take on the bug. And Lotus just kite, I guess. We finished sprinklers, by the way. So that's a really good research to have. We can actually make sprinklers right now. And crap, up here, Slate just got tagged by the guy using the ranged weapon. We need to take on this guy, Felony Sickle, fast. We killed him, very nice. Now attack this guy, chest howitzer, which by the way, he was attacking our butcher table. I don't know why I was doing that. But yeah, we just need to kill the rider, and I think the doe should run. It says it's fleeing in panic. Yeah, it is. Doe is over here. We're gonna have Lotus try to take it on. Not melee it, but yeah, just range it down. And we killed the other manta, by the way. We'll finish off this alpaca too. So that's a bunch of free meat for us. Not that we need it too much right now. We just harvested a good amount of rice. Or is it free meat, by the way? We did actually down the doe. The alpaca's down as well. All right, now we need to tend up Lily and Slate's injuries. This buck is like, dude, WTF. I was just trying to get some, and man, he was freaking determined. We're having Glitch tend up Lily, whose HP is pretty good. She actually didn't get hurt as bad as I thought. And then Slate's HP is actually pretty good too. He's just been injured from fighting a lot. He's also got psychic anesthesia. I'm not sure what that is, but it gives him less pain. Oh, it's pain block. So it only takes 10% of the total amount of pain, I and mean, he's actually not in really any pain right now. I wonder if that affects his mood. Oh yeah, it does. When the pain block wore off, he went into serious pain, and he only had minor pain before. Not that it really matters, because his mood's really good anyways. But yeah, we tended up Lily. I think she has pretty good regeneration, being that she's a Thrombokin. And like, she's actually moving pretty much at full speed, and her manipulations only hurt slightly. And she actually healed a little bit there. Her movement went up, and manipulation did go up too. Everyone ended up healing up their injuries, and with that, we're going to end this episode. We're going to start getting raided by more and more people once our wealth gets a bit higher. It's only at 12k right now. We're not going to try to grow it too quickly, though, and we're only going to build stuff that we really need, at least for now. But yeah, with that, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're liking Rimworld, then drop a like, and I will see you in the next one.